Hello. Here is our low-level alkalinity setup, including 0.02 normal sulfuric acid titrant, our Orion T910 pH titrator, a rinse beaker, calibration standards, the electrode, a pipetter, the TRIS solution for standardization, a graduated cylinder, and beakers. To run the titration, I'll use a saved method and I'll select the low alka method in the method screen. That brings us to the titration pre-check screen, where we can see options to standardize, calibrate, or start our sample titration. We'll start by calibrating. It's important to rinse the electrode thoroughly after storage to remove all traces of the salty buffered storage solution. I'm using the Orion 8172 BNWP Ross SureFlow electrode which works great with the titrator. After rinsing the electrode, I'll rinse the stirrer, dispenser, and ATC probe too. This ensures that I don't carry over any residue from the last titration into my new titration. Now I can start the calibration with Orion pH 4 buffer. Each day I pour a fresh portion for the day's calibration. During the calibration, I'll lift the dispenser above the liquid so that there's no cross-contamination. To get the calibration started, I select the calibration option and touch start. The meter reads the pH, automatically identifies the correct buffer, and waits for a stable reading. When the AutoCal value appears, I accept the value and choose Next to continue the calibration. Between calibration buffers, I'll be sure to rinse everything, the electrode, the ATC, the stirrer, with reagent grade water to avoid carryover. I'll continue the calibration with the Orion pH 7 buffer, which I've poured fresh today. I'll touch start to continue the calibration and I'll wait for a stable reading. When the reading stabilizes, I accept the auto calibration value, then choose done to complete the calibration. The slope value and details of the calibration are displayed and automatically stored in the titrator data logs.